Well, good morning. Um, we're uh, up at the top actually now of what is Lion Hills. Um, rather than just walk trailing up a load of concrete roads, I thought, well, we might as well drive up here. And we'll look to actually come out when we've finished through the trees and the hills up there and come down and pick the car up and then just drive down the road again. So it'll be less ascent. But uh, we're also going to explore a bit because we're going to go down that way, which doesn't show any path, but I can see one. So it'd be a case of trial and error here. We might have to turn around and come back. But uh, there's only one way to find out in these parts is, uh, is have a go and, and find out. So uh, actually also experimenting a bit. I'm just trying a different uh, camera to the GoPro see how that goes and um, yeah so we'll set off okay well I can tell you that path goes up there and that one that's going down there are linked and all they do is a circle around here and come back to the start point so <laughs> in effect we've no choice we will go the usual way that down there what I'll probably plan to do is then a loop around the nicer parts and come back that way rather than trail up uh, back at roads again. But we'll see, see how we go. Clouds are looking a little bit dark at the moment. Um, but yeah, a bit of rain never hurt anybody. I need to get used to that for the UK for sure. So we'll speak later. Anybody wanting to do this walk, um, when you get to this corner, the path naturally takes you, just to confirm, you do have to scramble up this uh, short hill to get into the uh, jungle uh, proper. And when you get to the top then, keep right. Okay, so this is a bit of a scramble, so I'll have to put the... Uh, camera away. Okay so at the top of that little scramble it's easier than it looks. Actually in the distance there you can see and uh, at the top here yeah there's a path going to the left there's one straight on which you'll assume we see buckets there. We're going this one that goes slightly uphill to the right. So that's the way you want to go. Once you get onto here, it's uh, pretty obvious. You'd have to clamber over a bit of uh, and under a few fallen bamboo trees, but other than that, nothing else. Quite dark now in this little bit. You can see the sun just starting to peek through again. Big clumps of bamboo, as you can see. Um, almost like a bamboo glade. Everywhere around is bamboo. Further down I know is more rubber trees. But uh, a lot of this is just for me for testing. And uh, for future films. Well we're down at the bottom. About as low as we get now. Um, Already passed a couple of lagoons on our right, but I think is the nicest one is just ahead. Interesting, this one here, which is more just a, a pond, but nevertheless, a couple of months ago was bone dry, and now I can see fish jumping in it uh, as a kingfisher just swooped past me there. Um, and it never ceases to amaze me actually how fish find the way into this pond. I do know, or into any pond to be honest, which is dry for all the dry season. I understand many of them just bury underneath the clay and although it bakes dry, once it gets wet they miraculously uh, spring to life again. We also have here, and this is not a joke, we have walking fish. In fact, Sim and I, on the way back from the shelter a few weeks ago, 
uh, stopped just near as we got near to uh, her house and crossing the road were two fish um, and the pond to the right and they were obviously heading to another one they knew but where maybe they didn't know there was a great big wall now surrounding a new housing development so we had a bag and uh, jumped out managed to rescue them and tip them back into the original pond they came from which might have upset them of course because probably they thought here we go we have to start all over again but I've had them walking down my garden to the lagoon at the bottom and they're about six inches long they've quite long spines and yeah they just walk from uh, literally across the field uh, quite amazing you can see here it's nice uh, peaceful surroundings our path is ahead and uh, yeah I'm just going to stop when we get to this next lagoon because it is nice just to have a relax quite a few birds swooping around and I say I was going to relax by the side of uh, this particular lagoon as you can see it's become quite marshy now but uh, hopefully we can find a little dry spot and indeed a little hill here and not first and sadly discarded bottles of empty bottles of Chang beer. Why people in Thailand can't take their rubbish home with them? I have no idea. It's a nice spot though, you do see people fishing more on the other side because you can actually put a track up there which you can drive up. So I'm just going to sit down, have a drink, enjoy the surround, very peaceful surroundings. Well, as you probably see, there's a few uh, spots of rain falling. Dark cloud, but. So decision time. What I'm going to try and do is rather than just walk the same way um, I've walked on a couple of occasions is I'm just going to double back uh, a few hundred metres and there's a path there that heads off um, up the hill behind me and it shows it going within well, it comes to the end, actually, at the end, near the top of the hill. And then it shows that to be a few hundred metres from uh, where I started. So I'm just going to see if potentially, Hunch tells me there might be a path coming across and linking the two. Because I'm thinking that bit where I scrambled up at the start, I said you could go left or straight on or go right. Um, I'm hoping one of those might link up. Uh, often my hunches are wrong. If they are, it doesn't matter. I'll just turn around, come back down, and head back up uh, the way we've come down. As I say, it's more. Um, it's just a short walk today, really. We've done. Um, well, my phone actually went onto pause mode again. It is really annoying me that. Um, but I know I've been going. Uh, what's this showing me now? I mean, I've been stopped here a while. Uh, now and well since we actually got out of the car now and 20 minutes so probably walking just over an hour distance just over three kilometers ignore the ascent doesn't work uh, if anybody's thinking of getting a, a watch to help them with uh, navigation do not buy the Garmin Instinct if you want to have any accurate data it's absolutely hopeless 
Um, does tell the time well, and I think it measures distance fairly accurately. Anything else, pretty hopeless. So, um, yeah, nice sat here. Could sit here for quite some time, taking really quiet. few birds about rustling of leaves in the breeze, which there is at the moment, because we've uh, say it's darkened over. I did get a storm warning on the watch. Um, that's usually highly inaccurate as well, um, but time will tell. Okay, put this away, put uh, the pack back on, and we'll just head back a few hundred metres and then fork off up to the hill behind us. Okay, so originally we went down here and across to that lagoon. We've now come back up and the other path now I'm going to look at is here going up into the hill there. Now it's clearly marked, well, it's marked on the map whether it still exists or is navigable as you'll know from previous walks I do, you never can tell until you try. I haven't actually brought my secateurs with me today to sort of cut my way through if necessary, so um, we'll just have to see. But this is the way we're going up. Well, this is, uh, it, it is a well-formed path. Um, I don't see much sign of footprints or certainly no motorcycle tyres on it. And there's no rubber plantations. It is a bit overgrown at sort of um, well, sort of chest to head height, a few spiders, webs, etc. Which is where actually uh, trekking poles come in handy because you can just push things out of the way. Uh, but it's all fairly light at the moment, and this follows a contour line round and then before heading up. So it's, uh, it continues like this. I don't really mind if I have to turn around at the end, it's quite a nice path. Well, oh, see, we just come out into a bit of a clearing. <clears throat> I think it's short lived. Um, we do have a choice shortly, and we need to be heading left up the hill, providing that path's there. There's another path going off to the right, which uh, takes you to a roadway further on. Um, just back there was oof, butterfly heaven. Lots of butterflies. Little white ones with pink spots on the wings. I'm no butterfly expert, no idea what they are. And then a lot of bigger ones. Um, yeah, the path's okay. A little bit of ducking and diving. Um, pushing branches out of the way, but the path itself is fine. So here's the division. We've come up here. Now there is a path also to the right here, which is not marked on the map and it's quite a pronounced one. Go straight down that way, sorry this way, or we head this way which is where I'm going and that should start to go uphill. Um, hopefully it's like that all the way up but uh, I have my doubts. And as expected if this path was going to be any good rubber trees lining the side and little paths going off in all directions. But I say if it wasn't for growing rubber trees the jungles and hills here would have absolutely no paths at all and would be impregnable. Um, so although obviously a lot of the original trees have had to be chopped down to uh, make way for rubber. Nevertheless, it uh, has opened up these hills. Well, this is where it shows the path ending. And indeed it does. Uh, some rubber trees up there being harvested. Potentially, there's a path down there. That's not very clear. It's in the opposite direction of where we would want to head. So, in reality, what we've got to do then is head back down. You see, 
we've seen where it goes and uh, I'll have a look at the map just to see if there's an alternative way. Right, well we're back now at the convergence of those three paths I told you about. This is the one which wasn't marked. This is the one that goes straight down and this is the one we took up to the top of that hill. Now I have options here, I can either say three pass, four pass, because this is the one we originally came down. This one I don't think is going to be very interesting, I think it just goes down onto, uh, it'll drop down towards where the fish farm is. Oh sorry, where the fishing lake is. This one, I do know where it goes, and it's going to join a path which I've walked before. It's going to come round, it's quite pleasant, but then it's going to come back down right onto the concrete road at the base. And to be honest, I don't really fancy walking up the steep concrete road. So I'm inclined to go back the way we came. It's the same distance either way, concrete road or this way, but just simply for the fact that it'd be a lot pleasanter walking back up that hill through the jungle than it will up on a concrete road. So, decision made, we're going this away. Okay, so this is where we came into the jungle. <coughs> we're now back at the high point. What to do is scramble down there, which will be a bit slippier than when it came up. What I was wondering was, was this, we went that way. If we went this way, would it to join up? over there somewhere that clearly doesn't. In fact the contour is a bit misleading because it goes, you can see, just make out it does go downhill very steeply there. And the other hill obviously similar height to this so no way could you walk across. Well there's a very welcome breeze coming straight through here. Oh it's lovely. Coming up there, did get to uh, bump into the brother plantation worker again who had a friend with him. He very kindly offered, took a, had a small water bucket, ice bucket there and offered me water. So lovely people these, share anything, these people living in the jungle. So, I was about to say before the Battery ran out, just changed it, but uh, yeah, see the sea there. Can also uh, make my car out. So, camera away now. We've got to uh, negotiate this. And uh, let's just uh, wander over to the car. Okay, well, uh, back at the car as you can see. My uh, watch is telling me, which I think distance-wise is probably is fairly accurate, about 9.4 kilometres from when I actually got out of the car three hours 40 minutes ago. Actual moving time will probably be near of three hours. Uh, the total ascent is again showing a ridiculous figure of uh, 1,100 metres. Um, now if that was feet it might be about right, uh, but I'm almost certain it's set at metres. I'll have to check that. Still doesn't equate with uh, last week or the week before when it was substantially higher and would have been more than that in, uh, more than it was showing if it was feet. Okay so had a lovely breeze coming down after that shuttle down the bank back to the car because it's clear through to the sea and uh, I'm going to head off, yeah, head off home now so hope you enjoy your day. I'm going to be watching England Ukraine this afternoon or a bit later this evening, it was played last night so I don't know the score and hopefully this time I won't find out. Bye now. <laughs>